The Lego Batman movie. Oh my gosh, I can't believe a movie finally exists with my two favorite childhood things, Legos and Batman. I geeked out during this movie, and yes, I'm a 21-year-old man. I was honestly really excited for this movie, because one, I really like the Lego movie, and two, like I just said, my two favorite childhood things, Legos and Batman. Look at my shirt, look at those Blu-rays in the back. I love Batman. In fact, grab him. I'm gonna have this little guy join me for this review. What? I'm not a little guy. I'm Batman, damn it, man. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> He's so cute, isn't he? Get in camera, what are you doing? There. I'm gonna have him there during the review, because yeah, like I said, I'm a 21-year-old man. So in this movie, Batman slash Bruce Wayne, he's kind of lonely outside fighting crime in Gotham. He doesn't have a family because his parents died, and he doesn't have any friends besides Alfred. So later on in the movie, he accidentally adopts this little kid named Dick Grayson, who will eventually become Robin. And Barbara, Gor Barbara Gordon, <laughs> excuse me, she's the new commissioner, and she wants to help Batman, and so does Robin, and Batman has a hard time accepting that because he's kind of egotistical in this movie. It's like it's him and only him. He works alone, as he says multiple times in this movie. So this honestly really isn't a movie for just kids. This is a great movie for the whole family, really. And this is a great movie. This is funny. It's honestly has good action. It's one of the best movies that I've seen in a while. I'll say this right now, if you really like the Lego movie, then you're gonna love this movie. It's everything the Lego movie was, only put in the Batman world. And it's technically not just the Batman world, it's still the Lego world, only mixed with Batman stuff. I mean, what more could you want? All the performances are great in this movie. Will Arnett as Batman, Michael Cera as Robin, Zach Galifianakis as the Joker, and Ray Fiennes as Alfred. They're all great performances in this movie, and that's something that these movies do well. Even though they're voice actors, they do such a good job with their voices, and they really bring life into the, these LEGO characters. It's a really funny movie, too, and that also could be kind of a downside, because there's a lot of jokes in this movie. There were some jokes that I missed, because... You know, some jokes carry from one to the other, like they overlap each other. Sometimes you miss them. I didn't miss a whole lot, but there are a lot of jokes in this movie, and honestly, that doesn't bother me that much. I mean, I can really look past that, because the movie itself is really funny and really good. Also, this movie doesn't really do anything new, because we've already seen the Lego movie. It kind of does the same thing that the Lego movie does, like I said, just only in the Batman world. And you can kind of take that as your own, whether that bothers you or it doesn't. It doesn't bother me, it's just something I noticed. It's kind of similar to the Lego movie, only for Batman. And that's really it. That There's not much to complain about in this movie. It's a really fun comedy with Legos. <laughs> Great time for the whole family, really. This is also a really smart movie, too. Like I said, this isn't just a movie for kids. People my age can relate to this movie because... Batman himself feels feels lonely, you know? Now, I'm not trying to get personal into my life, but I've definitely felt loneliness before. And I've had a hard time letting people in sometimes. And that's a message that can really reach to anyone. It's a really smart movie, and I'm glad that they didn't make it too cutesy, you know, for the little kids in the audience. They kept it family-oriented. Everyone could relate to someone in this movie. Also, Batman raps in this movie. We've never seen that before. <laughs> you know, take that what you will, but I thought it would kind of get annoying, and it, it wasn't. It was, it was really cool. It's a really heartfelt movie for both kids and adults to enjoy. I can't really say if I like it more than the Lego movie. I kind of had to process it a little bit, because when I first saw it, I thought, this is better than the Lego movie. Now that it's kind of sinking in, I don't know if I like it better anymore. It's good, don't get me wrong. Like I said, this is a great movie, but... I can't really say if I like it more than the Lego movie. They're kind of the same for me. I'm gonna give the Lego Batman movie four stars. This is honestly a movie that I would recommend you guys to go check out in the theater. That and John Wick 2. Those are both probably the best movies coming out this weekend. But the Lego movie in particular, you'll have a good laugh over. So that's my review for the Lego Batman movie. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below.
Thank you so much for watching. I had a good time talking about this movie. Did you have a good time talking about it? I can't move my hands. You super glued them. Nah, you'll get over it. Trust me. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.